Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and today we have um, a summer. It's time to sew for summer. <laughs> so I've got 10 ready to wear looks for you um, where I have paired 10 that I think are cool ready to wear looks with patterns and fabrics so that if you'd like you could recreate these on your own. Okay before we get into that a couple things. Number one I had someone point out that kind of in the background here is a little fuzzy on the camera and I totally didn't notice that until they pointed it out and they are correct and I have no idea what's going on with my focusing. Um, I don't know if there's something wrong with the camera, if there's something wrong with the setting lens, I'm not sure. I'm trying to figure it out, but <laughs> until then, because um, my husband was having issues when he was taking um, actual photos of me for the uh, So The Look that, yeah, that was up on Tuesday. So something's going on. We're trying to figure it out. So bear with us on that. Um, second thing, the newsletter. My gosh, I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying that. And um, the first, I, I just want to go over a couple of things. I've just been getting quite a few emails um, really quickly. Um, so there, it's a, a couple of step process. So when you, and I'll put a link down below, if you've not yet um, signed up for the newsletter and gotten the basics wardrobe checklist, um, I'll put that right down in the description box. But when you go to my website, you put in your email, you know, where it says email, <laughs> and you get an email within 15 minutes that says, um, wants you to confirm your email. So there's a button in that email that you click and that subscribes you to the newsletter list. And then about 15 minutes later, you get a second email, which is the welcome email. Now this has been going to people's spam folders, junk folders, um, you know, check all the folders, uh, because it might not go to your regular one. Um, but you know, you can add me as a contact and then it will go to your regular one going forward. But once you've gotten that second email, and sometimes it takes up to 15 minutes for that second one to arrive. Um, so give it a little bit of time, but in the body, that's a letter from me. And in the body of that, there's a section towards the bottom that says, um, you can download your, um, you know, wardrobe basics checklist here. And that little phrase, whatever, I can't think of the exact words, but that little phrase is highlighted and uh, has underlined. You just click on that and that will take you to the PDF. And then there are some little icons that pop up there at the PDF. And one of them is a little box with an arrow. Click on that. That's the download button and you can save it to your computer and then print it out and do whatever you want with it. <laughs> so, um, I mean, I know some people just, um, have had some issues with just receiving it period. Um, and I have figured out how to check on the back end if it has been sent to you and all that kind of stuff. So send me an email. My email's in the description box if you're having an issue, um, but hopefully that'll solve some of the issues that, um, that people have been having. But the next real um, newsletter, so an actual newsletter that's actually going to have another little gift on it, um, will be out next week, next Friday. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure you're subscribed so that you don't miss out on that. And um, that's going to be the summer capsule kind of a generic checklist form that I'm going to be using for my own summer capsule wardrobe planning um, that I've, I'm making one up for you guys as well so that you can do the same. So it'll go hand in hand with the basics wardrobe checklist. So anyway, <laughs> just want to get that out of the way. Also, today is Friday, which means we have a feature Friday pattern from Love Notions. That means that these patterns are $5 today only. <clears throat> you can use my Tomcat 10 uh, coupon code and get an additional 10% off, even that $5 price. Um, this week it is the Lyric dress and then the little girl's counterpart to that, which is the Dolce dress. I did the Lyric dress, gosh, it was a Sew the Look last summer, I think, and um, I'll pop a link up to that video right up here. Um, but it's a great pattern and for five dollars i mean it's perfect for the summer so uh yeah go have a look see um over there if that is something that you're interested in and for five dollars well actually less than that because you get the 10 percent off the five dollars so an extra 50 cents off so anyway 450 um for that pattern it's a great deal and if you have little people in your life you're sewing for as well you grab that little girl pattern also for 450 <laughs> today okay let's get into this um, I've got 10 looks here. Now this is summer. Sorry, dry eye. And I actually, I don't wear contacts. Um, I do wear glasses. If you ever see me without glasses on, I literally just can't see. <laughs> I have, um, chronic dry eye and, um, it's related to my thyroid issues, but, um, I, it's the lights that dry them out, but I, I can't wear contacts because of that. So if you, when you see me in pictures and like when I'm filming, I just don't like the glare on my glasses. So I don't wear them. 
um, when I'm doing those things, but yeah, I just can't see, really. <laughs> I can see up close somewhat well, but I, I, far away, I can't see anything. So, <laughs> just wanted to answer that question as well. All right, I have 10 looks here. Um, they're pretty simplistic. I, I've mentioned this before. I really enjoy a good one piece in the summer, like a dress or like a loose fitting romper. I just find them a little cooler, uh, but I do have some separates on here as well. Um, so these aren't quite as, um, I don't have quite as many separate pieces for the summer as I would say for the winter or the fall if I'm pairing jackets and coats and all that kind of stuff with them as well. So this video might not be too terribly long, but I have picked out 10 looks that I thought were really cool. I have a Pinterest board that will also link down below if you'd like to take um, the images back to their original source because I pulled all of these just this week from um, websites. So if there's something that you really love but you don't want to make it, <laughs> you can just buy it. Um, anyway, I don't have any affiliation with those links. These are literally, I was just like window shopping online. So that's just a way for you to go back if you'd like to kind of see more information about the actual um, inspiration piece or whatever. That's all in the, on the Pinterest board that's linked down below. So just gonna be upfront about that. Um, and I pulled these from quite a few different sources. Um, and I can't really remember which specific stores the different, the different items came from. But again, all back to the Pinterest board. Okay, let's get started. So my criteria for summer clothing, I like things that don't touch my body very much. I do have one swimsuit in here, which is actually a swimsuit I'm gonna be, uh, the style that I'm gonna be recreating for my daughter, a different type of fabric, but I am recreating the style for my daughter. Um, but I just love loose fitting things in the summer. I know I'm not alone on that. Um, and I've also tried to pick uh, a few different fabric or uh, pattern companies. I've tried to kind of spread the love across a few different pattern companies. But if there's a fabric or a pattern company that you love that maybe you don't hear me mention on the channel, I might just not know about them. So definitely leave that down below. I would love, I'd love to check out a new fabric stores, online fabric stores, and also new pattern companies. So <laughs> definitely pop those in the description box below in the comments. And um, yeah, I'll go have a look because I, I, yeah, I love new to me stuff. All right, first dress. I am also a big sucker for eyelet. And I've seen a ton of eyelet um, in a lot of the different stores where I was um, you know, looking for different things. So if you're on the fence, eyelet is definitely a good fabric to buy if you've got anything in your stash. I actually have one in my stash. I received some uh, fabrics from uh, Candace who got her colors done and she was a cool, thought she was a warm. So she sent me a few pieces from her stash that were warm uh, because I'm warm and I thought I was cool. <laughs> Um, anyway, and one of those is an eyelet. I think it's going to be a skirt for this summer, but we'll see. Uh, but eyelet very much in, and I loved this dress. I love the neckline on it, the big sleeve, and it immediately said to me, the Friday Pattern Company Adriana dress. So this is very similar to their Adrian blouse, but this is made for woven fabrics and um, just a very loose fitting dress. Obviously, you could belt it if you wanted to or like sew a little casing or something in the... Um, waistband, or if you really wanted to, you could sew shirring um, into the top part of the dress and make it like fitted into the top part of the dress, like to the waist and then kind of flare out. Um, that would might be something kind of fun to do. I don't know if it's got enough volume to get a big shirring effect, but you could try it. I think it'd be really cool. And then for the fabric, this isn't an exact dupe, but I saw this from StyleMaker. She has, I don't know, like maybe three embroidered um, cottons or like eyelet cottons that have like a pattern over it, but then they've got the eyelet pattern as well. And this is one of them. And I thought this would make such a beautiful dress. You could get a really cool puffy sleeve. You may have to line the body. I don't know how see through -y the holes in the eyelet are, um, but just for modesty, a little cotton lawn under there, and I think you would be fine. But what a fun dress to wear, um, not only just like day to day, because I would wear this every day, but also um, you could dress it up with like a heel or that sort of thing. You need to change the sleeves up just a little bit, but I think it's just a matter of shortening them. And uh, yeah, you could have the same dress. Very cute. Also, I do have my uh, laptop in my lap that I'm looking so I can see what you guys are seeing. All right. You are gonna see, this is the next outfit, and this is a set. And I actually picked a few different matching sets. That's still very much the thing. I did a video on matching sets being very in last summer. It's still very in, um, and I am 
just down for it. I just think it's so fun and you can mix and match the pieces or wear them all together. I love the look. But I love everything about this look. I love that it's kind of covered but it's in a light color. Um, I love that it is a button up um, but still kind of slouchy. It almost has like going outside pajama vibes a little bit. I love a good double cotton gauze. I think it's so wonderful for the summertime weather and that is what um, this outfit is made in and that's what I've chosen. But let's talk about the patterns first. So I've chose two Love Notion patterns for um, this look and actually again that Tomcat 10 <laughs> code that I gave you earlier works for all everything. You can get 10% off everything. So um, uh, don't you know don't forget when you're when you're shopping you can get that 10% off using that code. But I have gone with the Aria. So the Aria is their newest uh, button-up shirt pattern. It is kind of loose and um, relaxed a little bit. The collar is really cool. It has a collar stand and a collar, but they're one piece, um, which I thought it was just interesting. I'd never done a collar like that. It just kind of takes a step out of attaching the collar to the collar stand. Um, but the pattern also includes just a band, like a banded collar as well, if you didn't want the actual collar part coming down. Um, but I just, I think this would work perfectly. It's a little bit more relaxed. I've made this twice, the Aria twice, once for myself and once for my sister. I actually made my sisters in a double cotton gauze and it was beautiful. Um, and then for the bottoms, I've gone with the Allegro joggers. I have that on my list to make those Allegro joggers. Um, I've made the shorts, I've got the fit down. I would really like to, to make a pair of the woven joggers. <clears throat> And I thought I would make them in a linen, but after seeing this outfit, I may make them in a double gauze. <laughs> and for the fabric, I've gone with this, um, I, I don't think it's called double gauze, what's it called? Um, textured cotton or something from Minerva. I used this for, um, actually you haven't seen it, it's actually this two piece set for my daughter, which that will be coming up here soon on the channel. But um, I used it for that little two piece set for her and it is lovely. It comes in a ton of colors, so I have picked the white fabric, the white colorway of that for this outfit, and you could have this outfit, I mean, completely. And I'm so tempted. Now, I wouldn't buy the white for me, I would go the cream, or you could do a whole different color if you wanted. Um, you know, sky's the limit, so that's fun. Okay, next. Look three. I just thought that this dress was so easy breezy. Personally, I love a drop waist dress, and that's what this is. Um, if you have a short torso and you're wanting to lengthen your torso, a drop waist dress is your best friend. If you're straight through your hips, drop waist are they're great. They really elongate the figure, and um, you know if you don't have um, much of a waist to hip delineation, they're great for making you look just a little bit longer um, through that area, which I'm always up for. For the pattern on this, I've gone with the chalk and notch. Uh, Ren dress. So this is a top and a dress pattern. Obviously the sleeve is a little different, although there is a short puffed sleeve that comes with this dress. Um, I think it's shown with the top on this one, but you could definitely use that or you could not put the cuff on it and just have kind of more of a flutter short sleeve, more like the dress that the gal is wearing in the picture. Um, now the gal in the picture obviously has a v-neckline. This is a scoop neckline, but it does button up the front. Uh, with, for the dress version, it doesn't, you know, it stops at the skirt. It's a very easy make. I've made one. I have mine over on the Minerva website, actually, because it was one of their kits. And it works up beautifully in rayon. And that's what I've gone for for this pattern. Kind of the ditzy um, print with the hot pink background. I think this came from... I can't remember. Maybe Minerva? <laughs> I, I was searching for fabrics on a few different websites, but I think this one might be Minerva. But I think it's a very close dupe. And again, the Wren is um, a scoop neck neckline instead of the V. You could mess around with that if you wanted to, but I think it still gives the same kind of feel if you left the scoop neck um, then the button down the front so you don't even have to button it up all the way. Um, if you wanted to leave a couple undone or button it up, whatever. And I think you could easily recreate this dress. It would be so comfortable in the summer. And the fabric I picked is also is a rayon, so it would just feel like you're wearing nothing. It would be so comfortable. Okay, next I have this romper. I loved this because it just looks so easy and breezy and oversized, and I'm sure the air can just get through just really easily and just beautiful. 
Um, for the pattern on this, I had a hard time finding a pattern with a collar that was this loose. So I've actually gone for the Tilly and the Buttons um, Alexa play suit. So it's a jumpsuit and play suit. It does not have the collar, but everything else feels the same. So it's a nice loose um, short and it's kind of got a little drop shoulder. In fact, it might even have a grown on sleeve to be honest. I'd have to look at it again. So the only difference is this, this one doesn't have a collar. It's just the scoop neck, but it does button up the front. And I've gone with a linen rayon noir from, um, or noil from Blackbird Fabrics for this one. Color is spot on. I mean, I bet that fabric is so lovely. I've not used any of it, but I bet it's like a, so a noil is a little bit of a nubby kind of texture, um, but the linen and rayon blend is going to give you a beautiful drape. It's going to be soft. It's, it, I think that this would make a really cool jumpsuit, <laughs> a really cool play suit. And you pop it on one and done. You got it on your dress for the day, put on a cute little sandal or a slide or something, and you are ready to go. That fabric also comes in um, a, quite a few different colors as well. So if that's not your uh, warm color that you really like, she does have quite a few other colors. So you can just click on that fabric and, you know, it'll take you, you can see the other ones as well. Okay, look five. All right, this was, I think this was a soft surroundings. I just love this dress because it's so easy, so simplistic. Um, it just seems like one of those things that you could throw on, dress up, dress down. I have picked for this one the Pattern Emporium Wonderless Dress. Now, the Pattern Emporium Wonderless Dress does not have a sleeveless view, I don't think. I was looking at the pattern um, online and I don't think it has a sleeveless view, but that would be so easy to do. Um, it's just a matter of cutting in the shoulder line just a little bit and raising the underarm a little bit because when you put a sleeve on something, you want to lower the arm side just a little bit so you have that range of motion uh, to move, but when you don't, um, if you just raise it like a quarter of an inch, um, that will help cover your bra and cover everything that needs to be covered. But I'm so tempted to try this <laughs> um, as a sleeveless version, and I think it would just be lovely. Now, I could have gone, I'm wearing the Love Notions title today. Um, you could use, it's a very similar silhouette, except the title has um, the, the seam from the back wraps around to the front um, to create like these princess seams. So it does create a seam here, which, you know, if that doesn't bother you, if you're using a busy enough print, doesn't bother you, you could use this dress as well. Um, this has a center back seam in the back to, uh, for the shaping. So if you have issues with um, your rear end and that sort of thing, it gives you plenty of shaping opportunity in that center back seam. So don't worry about not having the side seam, but um, you could use that too. But I. I picked the Wanderlust just because it just has the side seams and it's a blank canvas. And for the fabric, guys, I have a new to me fabric store called So Batique, and I'm gonna be doing a video about them um, next week. I think on Tuesday, but it's so good. It's so good, and I've picked a fabric from their line, and you could recreate this almost completely. This is their cotton jersey. It's 72 inches wide, which is extremely wide for fabric. I mean, that's crazy. Um, anyway, it's very, very good. So stay tuned on Tuesday. I think Tuesday's video is going to be, I'm going to tell you about this fabric shop and some of their substrates and stuff. And it's very exciting. So I think that's Tuesday's video. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Okay. For look number five, I have done a bathing suit. I just thought this was so cute. I love the little cropped rash guard with the short sleeve and the bottoms, and I love the stripe play that they've done with this. And I just bought my daughter's swimsuit pattern that this is gonna work wonderful with. So for the um, rash guard, I actually bought the Waimea rash guard from Green Style Creations last summer, and I just not made it up. It's got a few different options with some cool seaming in the front, but it does have just a flat front. It comes cropped, we could do the short sleeves, and it would be so, so cute. And then, they have just released a separate, um, like a crossover bikini top and a separate bottoms. Um, the bottoms are called the Seaside Swim Bottoms and they have this crossover in the front. I think it would be great in the stripe. It would be just so much fun to play with or you could do a solid color. And then I found this one inch wide navy and white stripe swimsuit fabric from the Fabric Fairy. They have great uh, swimsuit fabrics. And again, I'm gonna be uh, making some swimsuits for my daughter here very soon. So um, I won't be showing them on her, but I will be showing you as I make them, you know, on the mannequin and that sort of thing. So, so great if you're wanting to make some swimwear. Oh, I just closed that. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, look number seven. I just think this is so easy and breezy, and I say that a lot with summer, don't I? Um, just comfortable. And um, 
the shirt, the pants, it's kind of, if you work in a casual um, work setting, like a business casual, I think this would work for that kind of thing. Immediately though, this, I think this was Banana Republic, but immediately the shirt said to me, the Teddy designer top from um, Style Arc. And it does not have buttons up the front, but that kind of makes it a little bit easier so. And I have a sew along for that top. I'll pop it up here um, for that one. But it is, it's a really fun top. And um, then for the bottoms, I've gone with the Milan woven pants. You can't really see if these are full length pants or cropped or even shorts, but I've just, the pleats are what's cool with the covered belt. So I've gone with the Milan because they do have an elastic waist um, with a drawstring, but I think that you could um, send off the belt. They're, um, gosh, I know in the UK there's Harlequin where you can send fabric off and get a covered belt, but in the US, I found a site that did something similar, and I can't remember. I've ne not used them, but um, if I can find them, I'll link them down below. If anyone's used them, though, let me know. I'd be anxious to hear your experience. I've just not used them um, before, but I think that it would be really cool, and I think you could recreate this outfit with these two patterns. Now, for the top, I've gone with this blue and white stripe linen shirting from the fabric store. You know how I feel about the fabric stores. <laughs> um, fabric, I mean, it's just wonderful. And the teddy top with this fabric would definitely make a very similar dupe to this shirt. And then for the Milan pants, I've just gone with the heavyweight white linen, also from the fabric store. It makes a beautiful pair of pants. It's a nice weight. Um, it's not super see-through, so there you go. I mean, I've made pants out of it before. It's lovely. So I, I think that you could get a very similar look with those two patterns to recreate this in those fabrics. Okay, look eight. All right, folks, I just thought this looked so incredibly comfortable and so fun. It's a little out there, but I mean, how fun together, or you could mix and match pieces. I just think it's adorable. So um, for this one, for the top, I have gone with the um, Closet Core Patterns, their core t-shirt, because it's a very boxy top. Now the core t-shirt has a scoop neckline, but you could put in a v-neck. Obviously, you're gonna need a center front seam line, which is easy to, to create, which makes putting in a V-neck actually really easy because you've got that center front um, to draft your own. And it's more, it's like I said, boxy, short sleeved, so you kind of get that oversized feel that the girl has on. And then <clears throat> for the shorts, excuse me, I've gone with their plateau joggers. There's a shorts option with that pattern, and I think that it would be just a really comfortable pair of shorts elastic waist, all that pockets to wear with the shirt. And again, you can wear them separately, you can wear them together. And I found good fabric for this as well. So over on Minerva, um, I think it's mine the maker, but there are these two fabrics. One is the purple colorway and the green colorway, but they've got some crossover and colors that would go together. I think you could have so much fun with this. Now, I think, I'm trying to think now if the shirt Oh, because I was looking at all sides. Obviously, one side is one color and the other side is the other color, and you would not want to match up your stripes. You'd want them off-centered. That's kind of the cool thing. But you could also do your shorts, one fabric on the front and one fabric on the back if you wanted. Um, you could just kind of color block that, mix and match that however you want. Uh, I think that that would just be a lot of fun. And I don't know, there was just something about this that just screamed summer to me, so I threw it on the list. Okay, look nine. Again, I don't know what it is with me and matching sets. <laughs> I just love this one so much. Relaxed shirt tucked into your elastic waist shorts. So good for capsule building. If you do it in a print, then you can mix and match and wear the top with the different bottoms and the bottoms with different tops and just have a whole fun little wardrobe going on here. For the patterns, I've gone with the Helen's Closet Gilbert top. It's just a nice loose button up camp. I think it's a camp collar style shirt that would recreate this perfectly. And then you could just tuck it into the Arden pants. Now the Arden pants, Helen's Closet also, um, are pants, they're like a jogger, a woven jogger. Um, they don't have shorts, but that'd be a very easy thing. Cut off the legs, you could add some width to them if you want just a little bit more width in the leg, because sometimes you need that when you're going from pants to shorts. Um, just make sure you add equally to the out seam as you do to the inseam, um, and just go incremental, incrementally. You know, I, I think you would be um, fine. And uh, yeah, you could have a really cute set. 
And for the fabric, I think this is a John Caldor fabric from Minerva, I can't remember, but it's a very similar bright red. It's got the other colors with the floral going on. It wasn't quite the tropical print that I was looking for, but it's a pretty close um, dupe, I think. And then you have a wonderful set. You're on trend, comfortable. This is a rayon chalet fabric, so you're just gonna feel like you're wearing nothing, and then you can mix and match with other stuff as well. Okay, one more. Finally, this gal. This was from Bowden, and I just loved this top. Now, I've only given the, the dupe for the top just because the bottom, she's just wearing white jeans on the bottom. I mean, you could make yourself a pair of white jeans, you could wear white shorts, just whatever. I really just loved this wrap top, um, like a faux wrap top that you could tuck into things if you wanted to. I just think it's so, so cute. And I have picked, I just spit, I have picked the Love Notions Willow wrap top. I'm totally gonna recreate this one, to be honest. <laughs> so um, the Willow Wrap Top does not have this flutter sleeve, but that is such an easy thing to, to dupe. Um, it's got, you know, it's got like a longer fitted, like a three quarter, I think it's got a three quarter length sleeve, the pattern does, maybe a full length and a three quarter. Anyway, um, I just think that you could easily make a little flutter sleeve to go on there. Make this in a rayon jersey, and I think that it would be just lovely. I've picked this um, rayon or viscose jersey fabric from Minerva. It's a very similar print, although I have a similar print that I just grabbed from StyleMaker that she just doesn't have it anymore, um, that I think I am going to be recreating the shirt sooner rather than later, and I'm going to show you guys how to do the hack on the sleeve. Um, just... Yeah, so I'll be using a similar fabric to this, just not the same because I got it in the Selvage Yard, Selvage Yard sale on StyleMaker, so it was the last of it. But this fabric would be a very close dupe if you wanted to recreate the blue and white, um, or you can pick a different color or whatever. <laughs> I think this fabric actually came in a couple of, couple of different colorways um, to re recreate your own faux wrap top as well. I just think it's very flattering. It's got the ruching there on the side, um, or I'm gonna make the one with the ruching on the side to mask any tummy issues that one might have. <laughs> anyway, I'm very excited about trying that one. There are a few of these that I would really like to try out this summer. I never, um, I never do like all of them or even a lot of them just because the whole point of these types of videos are for inspiration and a lot of times I'm even picking things that aren't necessarily that I love to see on other people but aren't necessarily my style, like they wouldn't necessarily look good on my body um, or my body shape, but I can appreciate them on others. Because I try to not just pick stuff that necessarily would be me, that they're, you know, for other people as well. Um, anyway, I try <laughs> to diversify a little bit. So hopefully that's coming across in these videos. But there are quite a few of these that I'd really like to make up this summer. So we'll see. <laughs> on that note, next week, I've got a video that I'm going to be doing on showing you, um, just telling you about this new fabric store that I've come across. Not, they're not a new fabric store, new to me fabric store, um, with some exciting things. They have some new product, um, new substrates that they're doing stuff on that I really can't wait to talk to you guys about. That'll be on Tuesday. And then on Friday next week, I'm going to be sharing my plans for my summer, um, wardrobe, my summer capsule wardrobe. And, um, I think it's gonna work, but I'm going to have another little checklist freebie for you guys next Friday. So um, make sure that you're signed up for the newsletter because this one won't come out automatically. Um, so you have to be signed up to the newsletter before next Friday morning to receive the summer wardrobe checklist. Now, when you sign up for the newsletter at any time, the basics wardrobe checklist comes to you automatically. That's part of the welcome email. So anytime anyone signs up at any point, that automatically comes to you at any time. But for these other little checklists I'm gonna be making, you have to already be signed up before I send it out because it just gets sent, sent out the one time. So hopefully that makes sense. And it's just a template of exactly what I'll be using to um, plan out my own summer wardrobe. So I'll be showing you what mine looks like and um, on the screen and that sort of stuff. And then I'll send out a blank one for you guys um, if you are a newsletter subscriber. So another little impetus to get signed up for that newsletter before next Friday. All right, guys, that's all I've got. Oh, Sunday, bias binding. I'm doing a whole video on bias binding. I'm going to show you how I cut my bias binding, how I sew my bias binding together, how I press it into bias tape, not bias binding, just bias tape. So how I do my single fold bias tape and then how I apply it to, um, I think I'll be applying it to an armhole actually. It's actually a pattern I can't share with you yet. 
so we'll just be doing sneaky peeks. Um, that'll be coming soon though. And uh, anyway, doing the whole thing. So if you've never made your own bias tape, never made your own bias binding, um, I'm gonna be doing a whole video from start to finish on how to do that on Sunday. So make sure you tune in then. Make sure you hit the subscription, the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the videos we have going forward. And uh, yeah, we just got some fun and exciting stuff as summer approaches. Um, and then at some point, I'm gonna show you these things I made for my daughter. So <laughs> good stuff coming ahead. All right, guys, that's all I have for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and get some sewing in and I will see you all next time. Bye.